good. Okay. So, um, I guess briefly, I guess we could share our stories. Some of you probably are sick of hearing mine, so we'll go with the other Gabby first. So, <laughs> okay, guys, for you guys who don't know me, on my team, I'm Gabby. Um, I'm a diamond leader. Hopefully, di double diamond the end of this month. Um, basically, I joined It Works a year ago, actually, at the end of this month, and I just did it just to like be able to put extra money in my pocket. I was a customer before I was even a distributor, so for like four years. <laughs> and then I was like, you know what? I signed up when it was $10 to sign up. And in the beginning, I kind of went through this like, oh, I'll take $100 a month type of phase, I guess you could say. I didn't really have a leader. The girl who signed me up quit like two weeks after. So I kind of was going blindly about it. And then come December, I reached out to Nayara and I was like, listen, I need to get my life straight. I need you to help. How can I like go about this? And every month since then I've promoted, well, except for like last month. Can you guys hear my roommates? I'm sorry. <laughs> They're laughing, I'm sorry. Um, so every month since then I've promoted with the exception of last month, I maintained Diamond. And um, it's grown from me literally just having like a hundred extra dollars in my pocket to moving into a brand new apartment in the city. Um, I pay for my tuition. I go to NYU. I'm a nursing major. It's my last year. So thank God I'm done. <laughs> and um, yeah, I've just been spending the summer like kind of traveling, doing whatever I want to do because it works pays for everything for me. So yeah, I guess that's, <laughs> that's all I could say. I don't know. I just love it. So that's awesome. It's, it's kind of funny. We have like similar stories. Uh, so I'm also Gabby. Um, so I was also a customer um, before I joined. I was Nayara's customer. Um, and I lost about 35 pounds using the products. So um, I was a customer for probably like four and a half-ish months. And then she reached out to me and was like, hey, do you want to um, do something like this? And at first I was kind of like, eh, because I was working six days a week. I was a waitress on the weekends and I was um, trying to use my degree working as a communications director um, during the week. And then, um, yeah, so I just like, you know, I started doing it. I had no idea what I was doing. I've never done anything like this before. And uh, I, it took me 10 months to go diamond so if it takes you guys a long time like it took me it took me a long time and I think it's just because like you said I was so content with with making like a couple hundred dollars as a paycheck opposed to like four figures I was content and then when I realized like the freedom of what you know like getting paid more and more could do what this business could do you know I started pushing myself and um you know I I was able to quit both of those jobs and you know, it's a blessing cause I get to do this full time and I'm married now. I just got married like three or four months ago and, um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, um, so it's, it's great. So yeah. And then, you know, my parents own a restaurant, so it's really great because, um, you know, I waitressed for eight years of my life. So I have a lot of experience. So whenever, if they need help ever, because it's right down the road, you know, if they need me, they know they can call me. And if I'm not doing anything that day, I can come help them. And it's not because I like need the money just because like, I love my parents and I want to help them out. So, um, it's been a huge blessing, but so yeah. So, so yeah. So yeah. But, um, I guess, what do you want? Should we talk about, um, what we do every day? Do you want to go over like kind of your well, I, kind of, I definitely agree with that, but I also kind of want to get a feel for like what everybody wants out of this company because I feel like there's probably girls on this call who are like us in the beginning who are like really content with two hundred dollars a month, and like if that's you, God bless, you're a good girlfriend. But if you're trying to make four figures a month, I kind of want to see who really feels that way, you know, because maybe us coaching you and helping you will. I don't know. Tonight, maybe it'll open some doors. That's what we're hoping for. It's the 18th of the month. So I guess if you want to, like, raise your hand, unvideo yourself. Um, in the chat. I'm trying to think. 
Oh, I'm learning the chat. Got the chat. There we go. <laughs> I can't. I'm not good with this. <gasps> All right. We love that. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. So how long have you been diamond? Uh, I went diamond October 31st. So I've been diamond for like, gosh, like six months. Too long. Going double. Double. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I was like, I'm sick of being diamond. I I literally, and like, there's going to come a point, guys, where you're like, wow, I'm so tired of being emerald or I'm so tired of being diamond. And people are going to be like, how are you tired of making a $1,000 a month? And like, you just got to be like, there's so much more money out there that I could make. Yeah. So, if you look at the compensation plan, it's like, oh my gosh. It's, you know. And so, so whatever you want to do, you can go first. It's like what your daily routine is. Okay. Um, so, um, I usually kind of, I sleep till about eight, nine o'clock and I get up and I am a big audible book person. So I liked, I really do like to read books, but I've been realizing that just with more responsibility, um, I just feel like it's sometimes it's easier for me just to throw self-development on, um, listen to it while I get ready in the morning and everything else. So I'll always like start my day with, um, you know, whatever audible book I'm currently listening to and that kind Which of just do you like, like, how do you access them? Because I feel like I'm, I like just listen to podcasts, but I really want to listen to an audio book. So, yeah. uh, so I'll pull out my phone. So, um, if you have an Amazon account, you can, um, Audible is linked to Amazon. So there's, I don't know if you guys can see the little orange app. You have to download that orange app. Um, and you can go on your Amazon account and some Audible books are free. Like You Are a Badass at Making Money is a free Audible book. Awesome. Um, Grant Cardone. Right yes, girl. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. <laughs> guys, definitely 10 out of 10 recommend this book. Or the yellow one. Yeah, the you one. are a badass too. Like, yeah. This one is one that I'm reading right now, Secrets in Laying Your Mind. This is like an actual one that I'm reading. But um, if you like, I feel like after you read those two starter books, I always recommend this, you know, the, the yellow and the green books. I feel like Grant Cardone's a great person to like listen to. Um, he's, he's very, very inspiring just about like going beyond what you think you can do and He's very, he's a very big in like sales and everything. So he's great. Um, so yeah, I start with my self-development and then, um, I don't really have like a set schedule, I guess. It's just kind of like how my day goes, but I always make an effort to message 10 people an hour. Like, you know, and it, that's just something that took me time. I feel like when I first started, I don't know how, if this was you, but when I first started, it was like, I felt like I just couldn't message 10 people an hour and then I realized that I could I just had to like make the time to just send out the messages you know I mean like I said when I when I first started I was working two other jobs and I couldn't be on my phone so I think through that I just learned how to just send the messages out um I set up Captivate I don't know if you guys use Captivate. My favorite app in the entire world. <laughs> Life changer. If you don't have an iPhone, I, I'm sorry, but <laughs> get an iPhone just for Captivate. I set it up and some people use um, night mode, but I just use, I just um, like add about 500 to 700 people to my cloud. I don't know if it's called Quiche or Q or whatever. Q. <laughs> I keep calling it like a key laundry. <laughs> so um, I add it to the cloud thingy and it just follows for me throughout the day. So I don't have to worry about that. So I can just focus on messaging and following up. Um, I do a lot of posting on my Insta story. I think that's something I changed since I first started. I always, 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 and I know you do the same thing. I always try to um, post a video of me using my product on my Insta story. You Maybe inspired me to do that because oh. I literally was like, I, I'm, I'm, I was like, all right, I, because I use like all the products. I was a customer at first, and then I lost a bunch of weight from them, and then I've just like been like kept going. And um, I was like, nobody wants to see me using my protein, my thermofine, my greens because they're gonna be like, all right, girlfriend, like, what are you doing? <laughs> but then I saw you making the coffee on your on your story, and I was like. 
you know, that's not the seven products. I could do the one, no problem. And, and I get like works. three customers. Yeah. yeah it works I'm telling you like um and I'll change it up like sometimes I'll be talking in the background with like the three steps of me making my keto coffee or I'll just have Alexa if you guys have Alexa or whatever I'll put music on while I'm making it like a, a throwback song from like the 90s or something you know um so yeah I think that definitely that changed the game for me too that's part of my daily routine for sure is putting a video I do a lot of videos and then um, I know this is out of people's comfort zones, but, um, you know, I, I feel like it's important to just like, to, sh to have people like listen to your voice and like see you because it's so like, people don't like to be sold to, they have to buy into you first. So I make sure like I show my face at least a couple times a week, like on my Insta story of me, like talking or whatever, talking about my favorite product or why I joined or whatever just so it's more personal you know it's like just something to set you apart from everybody else because you have to think this company has been around for a long time you know and sadly there are some distributors out there that have made a bad name for the company and you know have made it like oh it works people are so annoying but like you can change people's view and I like not in a bragging way, people have come to me and they're like, oh my gosh, you sell at work. So I couldn't even tell from your profile because it's so cute. Or like, oh my gosh, like you're so personal. Like you're so not annoying. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. just like being personal throughout the day. But that's basically like just this typical follow post message stuff, just fitting it in my daily routine. So Pretty much. <laughs> um, so I still for like a little background right now. So I put myself through school and everything. So just it works alone pays for like my rent and like my groceries and everything, but I still babysit on the side, just like have extra money in my pocket um, to help out my parents too, like as you were saying. So um, I babysit three to four days a week and I have two children like each day and they're little. <laughs> so they're like, two to six and I can never like be on my like I can but it's difficult when I'm with them so all my work pretty much for the day or I set myself up in the beginning of the day to be productive so that by the time I'm going to pick them up from school it's not like oh my god I haven't gotten a customer yet today like what am I doing I hold myself accountable though to like one customer a day and I don't know if that's going to require me to stay up till 12 o'clock in the morning or it's going to require me to wake up at seven before someone's going to work which has happened before and I was like, girlfriend, I don't wake up this early, but we'll do it. No problem. And um, yeah, it's just all about I wake up and I turn on my self-development. I hop in the shower and then I usually go to the gym or I'll go for a walk or whatever. And I'm messaging like as soon as I wake up because I know that from the hours of like three to six or like four to eight, I, I'm not free to do so. And messaging is such like a huge part of this business. I think a lot of girls don't really they like don't understand the, the like the magnitude that social media messaging posting has on this business. Like how else are you working your business when you think about it? If you're not posting on Instagram, nobody's seeing, like you're not talking to people every day. I can guarantee that. You're not going up to someone saying, hi, I'm a distributor from at work. Let me tell you about our products. So you have to think about like, you are a business owner. You, you are selling a product. So how are you selling it? Where are you selling it? How often are you selling it? And that like was something that took me so long to understand because I was like, yeah, I'll just like post once a week or I, for the longest time I was not messaging because I was like, I don't know, so many people give a bad rap for it works and the distributors and stuff. And I've had so many girls like DM me and be like, wow, you make this business look like amazing. You make it look so easy. Can you teach me other distributors from different teams? And I'm like, okay, <laughs> no problem. <laughs> so it's kind of just like, you really just had, when you break it down, this business is following messaging, posting, and it's, you don't need to overcomplicate it. You don't need to make it more than it is. I try and send out 80 to hundred messages a day. Like that's what I pull myself accountable to. It's really important to look at your goals because otherwise you're going to like get wishy-washy. Like this whole weekend I was not in my apartment. I didn't have them staring at me and I felt like a lost puppy, but we're back in the apartment and now I have my little board right there. So I just wake up in the morning. I write down like what my schedule is. Like, 
8 to 8 30 i'm self-developing nine o'clock i'll start messaging and every hour i'll send out 10 messages because i know that for four hours a day i'm like blocked off you know and i think a lot of girls work other businesses like do other things i mean not everybody is making ten thousand dollars a month through it work so i'm sure everybody has to do other things but you just got to really find a way to make your two worlds mesh if you want to make it into one eventually. Like you don't want to always have to work, it works and seven other jobs. Just want to be one <laughs> so you're not as stressed out. Um, Self-development is a huge part though. And I don't think a lot of people like really hold it to how important it is. I didn't for the longest time. And then Nayara was the one who was like, what do you listen to or what do you read? I'm a book person. I could read any book you give me, but like listening to someone tell you you're great, you're capable today, you can do it is so much more empowering than reading the, the words like you're a badass, like you could do this. Mm -hmm. Mind you, I have the book right here, <laughs> but I don't know, like self-development, ask one of us like what our favorites are or if you have a question about how to go about that because I guarantee if you start your day with a half hour of self-development or you split it up to like five minutes every two hours, you're going to feel good. Like there is so much negativity in the world around us and people that place the stigma on distributors from any company. If you're listening to something that's feeding your mind, you're feeding your business. And that's something that's like, I cannot stress it enough. So that's a huge every day. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, you know, and I was just thinking like, um, I was thinking back to, um, this time last year, I was, I lost rank and I went down to Ruby and I went to, um, green carpet. And, um, I remember I had all these leaders, three leaders that went with me. And one of them is, is on the zoom. She's the only one that is still with me, but I had all these girls that were on my diamond chart at the time. And, um, I remember, and I wasn't doing self-development back then. This is what I'm, what I'm getting at. But, um, I remember that after green carpet, you know, you would think that those leaders would be fired up and everything. And, um, my, my two like main people on my diamond chart quit they totally quit. And then one girl that didn't go with us to green carpet, um, who was on my diamond chart as well, who I was using as my, um, as an emerald, um, she called and canceled. So, um, is my current situations and do not worry. <laughs> and it's like, you know, I feel like, you know, at that time, that's when I started self-developing. And then when I started Self, I'm not saying self-developing, you know, is going to, I think it will actually transform your business, but it's not going to, I'm not saying it's going to bring you these rock stars, but um, thank God I, I did, you know, um, I got all new leaders that came to me. Um, another one of them's on here right now, but um, yes, girl, I see you. Uh, <laughs> hey. uh, but yeah, I just feel like, you know, whatever place you're in right now, some people are not always going to be with you, you know, and you have to understand this business is not for everybody. Not everybody can see the bigger picture, but you just have to, where you are right now, you know, just dwell on the moment that you are right now and stay positive, no matter who quits, you know, no matter who's negative, you just got to like understand that people do quit, you know, and now I am, I am a diamond, you know, but like back then I felt like I was never going to be a diamond because right. nobody would get on that level that I needed them to get on, you know? Um, so, you know, I, I would say just stay positive for sure. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. Your mind has like, your mind holds so much power over your subconscious. Like I won't even get into the psychology of it, but like, when you think about it and you, when you're having a bad day and you really sit back and you think about it and you're like, why am I having a bad day? Maybe I got 50 no's today and suddenly this is why I'm not messaging anymore. Or this is why I just like to have this down attitude. People feel that and people vibe off of that. Even if it's through a phone screen, like if you're not hyping up the products and hyping up yourself as an individual, like, yes, I am a badass. I can do this today and every day. People will like take from that they're gonna say well this girl's just like whatever I guess I don't know mm -hmm. so feed your mind Emily yeah. one of Emily's quotes that she posted one day and it has stuck with me like forever now is like 
it, I don't know verbatim what it was, but it said, your mind listens to everything you tell it. Make sure you're feeding it on good or that. And I just was like, that is so true. Because if I'm telling myself, well, yeah, the 10 people I just messaged, I'm going to get a no. Like, I already know that. I will get all no's. And I've, I've literally tried this, guys. I'm not lying to you. So mindset is everything. It's, it's super, super true. Um, the next thing I wanted to talk about um, is just things that um, I guess that we tweaked in our business that helped us kind of go to the next level. Um, I know that, I guess I'll start with as far as, um, I guess messaging, I would say, but um, I feel like, you know, messaging is scary for everybody. Can you guys agree? I feel like when you first start, you're like, I don't want to message. Like everyone's going to follow me and hate me. And um, when somebody wouldn't reply to me, you know, I would think that like they hated me. And I'd be like, oh my gosh, I'm going to quit. Like, I hate this. But, um, you know, I think like little things that I changed in my business was um, if somebody knowing like that Nayara had to follow up with me five times before I ordered and it wasn't like I always ignored her. And now look at me, you know, like she followed up with me five times. What if she never followed up with me as a customer, you know? So it's not that people hate you and like don't want to order. <laughs> it's just that sometimes they're really easily distracted. They have a lot going on in their life. So following up is huge. I think following up changed the game for me. I think um, when people didn't reply to my message, just sending like on Instagram, if somebody reads it and doesn't reply, just sending, you know, um, I do, Hey girl. Um, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry if my message freaked you out. And when I send that, I always get, you know, most 90% of the time I'll get a reply back like, Oh my gosh, no, I just forgot the reply. And then yeah. I'll go into the challenge. Um, something else that I did too is, um, a couple months ago that I told everybody to start to try this, I guess, but I'll send, um, Hey, Emily. Um, so I'm sure you don't know who the heck I am, LOL, but I have a question dot, dot, dot. And I'll send that. And that has gotten me like a ton of more replies back to my messages. Um, so just like, you know, I think what changed messaging for me, I guess, or changed my business is just being, you know, intentional as well with, you know, just not thinking people don't want the products, just 100% believing like everybody wants our products because they really do. A lot of people want our products. They're curious. Um, you know, it's just reaching out to people and making that effort. Um, and then something else that I do too is I always make sure that I um, comment on somebody's picture, um, either like before or after I message them. Um, that makes people reply to you more so because that you're showing them that like you're a real person you've actually looked at their page before so I always try to interact you know it also helps with like the Instagram algorithms are really all messed up and I try to understand them but I really can't all the time so the more you're physically interacting and putting yourself like I I do it like five minutes a day five minutes a day of interaction and like this has really helped me get more views on my profile and stuff that like I'll just go through the Instagram stories like at the top, sorry, at the top of my page and I'll click through. And if it's like a quote, I'll say like, amen girl, like so true. Or I'll go and I'll scroll down and I'll take the time to just go through 20 pictures, like comment. And you'll be surprised because your your profile then pops up for other people. You'll be at the top of the scroll, like the top of the scroll that they're doing. That's how that works. It's not so, it's not in chronological order anymore. It's literally by attraction. So do that also to get more viewing. Yeah. Or like, it helps. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, I think any, I think interaction is freaking amazing. And it definitely sets us apart from other distributors. Cause there's a lot of distributors out there that will just add people and then just like message them right away. And I'm like, you know, and people still do it with me. Yeah. They even look at my page and they just like follow me and they message me, you know, and it's like, be personal, be real. Like, you know, when, when you're, when you follow somebody, make an effort. If you have free time after you've sent messages out, like, like Gabby said, like, you know, reply to the little stories up at the top or 
comment on people's pictures. Just be super personal and people are seriously going to notice that. So when you go and shoot them a message, they're not going to be like, oh yeah, she doesn't even care about me. She never looks my page, you know? Right. Like who is this girl? Like yeah. make some type of interaction. I know you guys take your phone into the bathroom with you. Like, and if you tell me no, we all do. <laughs> we all do. This girl just literally messaged me right now on Instagram. Hey girl, so I'm curious to know how does the business work? I just read the post of you reintroducing yourself and you have me so curious. Can you send me information? This is someone who left me on red February 21st. Yeah. They are always watching you. Someone is always looking at you and how you run your business each and every day. And like when someone tells me, well, I didn't get any customers today or I didn't, I didn't get anybody today, you planted seeds because they're going to look at your post now and they're going to see you interacting and doing everything. And believe it or not, you're going to keep moving the way to the front of their brain. Like I need what she's selling. So oh, yeah. that's kind of funny. Sorry. Oh, yeah. no, that is so funny. No, I, that happens all the time. I think, you know, people are always watching and they just want to know if this is just another fad that you're going to go through, you know, and people, I still have people that reach out to me that, you know, I followed up with, I blew their phone up and then, you know, I left them be and then months later they're like, Hey, so I'm ready to order. I'm like, okay, sure. Literally. <laughs> when you're pushing for that volume at the end of the month and they're like, no girl, I just need one more week. And yeah, they're like, no, you don't. <laughs> we'll come back to you a week or two later and place like over a hundred volume order. Yeah. And like, Where were you a week ago? That's <laughs> right. Oh, you have to talk to everybody about how um I think that day you got like what eight LCs eight plus LCs Talk. Yeah, Talk. we have seven minutes but okay I'm hurrying so um eight LCs six of them were from a host to post I've never done a host to post before I literally was just like you know what I see everybody else doing that I'm gonna try because I was just averaging like three customers a day and to push for a double I need so much more than that so I was like Let's just do it. And one girl, literally, like, I got all the customers off of her post that one day. And then the following days, I got, like, two off of other girls. But post to post, I used the cleanse one. It was the first time I ever did it. I plan on doing it again because I really want to get more customers from it if it worked the first time. Um, and enrolling. So that always tells me all the time I'm a mass enroller. <laughs> and I'm like, nay, I only – I got one today. She's like, well – you're going to mass enroll tomorrow, so I don't know. So you have to believe you can, and you have to understand that there is always going to be someone who wants your product out there, like no matter what. I don't care if you've got 100 no's today. Tomorrow you'll get 10 yeses, and it is just the way the universe works. Couldn't tell you why, but if you go out there and you're saying like, yeah, I don't really believe in these products. Nobody really likes these products. Like, I use these products. I know they work. And if you guys need testimonies, I got you. Because that's how I lost 27 pounds. Like, I can't really tell you any way else. Like, I work my ass off in the gym, but these products actually help me lose weight a lot quicker. So, your vibe attracts your tribe. Like, you can't say, yeah, these products are great with a straight face and then expect to get eight customers off of that. You can't. You have to be like, yes, and I can customize a plan for you, and I can help you right now, and let's mm -hmm. do this, because my air conditioner just went off. <laughs> it got real quiet. Um, yeah, I don't know. That that day, I woke up, 8 o'clock. I didn't change anything else in my schedule. That's Actually, awesome. no, I up a little bit earlier, because a girl wanted to order. Um, I didn't change anything else. I self-developed. Mm -hmm. I did everything. I still had babysitting that night. I just, like was so I'm so focused on double and I'm so focused on just like helping as many people as I can in the shortest amount of time that I was just like trucking it I don't know what to even I like I kept my boyfriend updated on like everything I was like got one got two he was like all right Gab we know we got you so <laughs> it's like have support in doing it too because you can and you are so capable like so if I could do it you could do it yeah and that's like if like so many people are like, well, you're a diamond. I'm not a diamond girl. I was once a Ruby too. I was once an executive. I was once a distributor just making like the bare minimum, but I worked my ass off to get where I am. And like, if you want to do that, then you can do that. And anybody who's telling you differently is completely wrong because let them talk to me.
No, it's the truth. I think it's discipline. I think like that's the only thing that sets us apart is I feel like if you're not disciplined and organized in your business, you know, like just making that time, no excuses, you know, I think that's the difference between you and somebody else that, you know, might be the rank that you want to be and you're taking longer, you know, it's, you just have to be more disciplined. It's, you have to be disciplined with your goals because no one else is going to be for you. That's what it comes down to at the end of the day. No one is going to talk to these people for you. No one is going to get these customers for you. It's all you. And like you have all of the power right in your hand. So what are you going to do with it? Like we all have the same 24 hours. That is my favorite line where someone's like, well, I could never do what you do. Girlfriend, we both woke up and went to sleep at the same time. I just took advantage of my 24. Like, yeah. what are you going to do? You know? Very true. Very, very true. Um, we have two minutes and 50 seconds. We gap too much, don't we? Uh, <laughs> Aw, Maria, I love you. So you guys I can ask us at these comments. <laughs> oh, you're just not seeing me. Yeah. Ask us some questions in the comments. We got two minutes and 40 seconds left. Let's do it. Anybody talk to us. Anybody, anybody. Um, while you're typing, um, I feel like I, I was listening to Grant Cardone Audible Audible book today, and like I feel like you'll you'll probably agree, but I feel like uh, Grant was talking about how just being like disciplined in all areas of your life affects the discipline in your business, and just like going to the gym, he talked about helps your business because you're disciplined in making yourself go to the gym and like live a healthier lifestyle. You'll become more disciplined in like working your business every day. I couldn't agree more with that. Yeah. If you're not like an organized person and you don't have a goal in front of you, like, what are you gonna do? I don't know. Like, how do you how do you function then as a business owner? You know. Mm -hmm. Yes. So. We have thirty seconds left. So Maria, and I'm talking to potentials. Conversation took me so long. Like, took me five months long to master. We're probably gonna get kicked off of this just I just like, um so yeah. it took me a really long time to actually master that talk to your uplines talk to the two of us we'll send you guys scripts like that's what's been working don't recreate the wheel just just follow what we're doing because that's what's helping us so that's what's going to help you like we literally all up. use the same thing basically exactly <laughs> literally use the and, same thing and it works like what yeah. works for nayara making sixteen thousand dollars a month is gonna work for us you know what i mean because we're all the same people at the end of the day yeah well it said 30 seconds but that felt long <laughs> <laughs> it's still going yeah um yeah well that's my question so far but yeah for sure just follow okay. up if you Literally, i don't know when it's gonna time out but if anybody's getting no, no, their questions answered, just text one of us. We can yes. start a group chat if you guys need. That would be fun. Whatever you want to do. I feel like this was good. We talked about a lot. We could always talk more. But yeah, I feel like we could we'll talk more. Guys. We'll save you guys tonight. <laughs> <gasps> yeah, well, this will be – I'm going to upload this to YouTube. So if you guys have anybody that didn't get to get on, um, I'm going to send the link to Gabby, and I'm going to post this on my team page so you guys can share. So thanks for getting awesome. on. Thank you, thank you. Thanks, Gab. Bye. Bye, guys.